Hey everyone, just a quick episode talking about a topic that uh, came up in a recent poll on the uh, Ex-Pentecostal Facebook group. So people were interested in the concept of the deception and manipulation that is very prominent in the Pentecostal movement. One big part of that is this idea that there has always been a, a movement that has the same doctrines of the modern Pentecostal movement. And that's simply not true. Uh, you'll often hear apologists for the BCI or other groups come out and say, well, there's always, there's always been throughout history, there's always been this Pentecostal church. And they'll come out and say, there's always been groups that spoke in tongues or baptized in Jesus name and blah, blah, blah. But in reality, there's, very isolated small pockets of these um believers that would speak in tongues or, or would baptize in a particular way but there has not been a consistent unbroken chain of succession and even if even if we could demonstrate that that did happen it doesn't really make any difference because it was such a such a very small group and i find it very pop, uh, problematic that there's this mentality that as long as there's 20 people, you know, that believe this, the other 50 million people across the globe, just, it doesn't matter. They, 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 they have no value or no worth because they aren't Pentecostal. And I think that's the real heart of the problem is that you have entire civilizations like the Aztecs, uh, the Native Americans, and the Aboriginal tribes in Australia, all these groups that really had no contact with Pentecost for, for centuries after centuries after centuries. And they just didn't matter because they weren't in the right geographic area to hear about this particular, you know, branch of Christianity. So, you know, to me, it's just, it's just like, what kind of plan is that? that there's no method of reaching these groups. So the modern Pentecostals would be like, well, our doctrine is true because it goes all the way back to the original apostles and it never, it never died out. But again, I just think that's a dramatic lack of correct interpretation of history and of the Bible. So yeah, when, when your relatives or friends bring that up, yeah, that's the first thing that comes to my mind is, so, you know, the majority of humanity is just dog shit. Like, they don't matter. Like, I find that really offensive. And I, I just think that it's a bad, it's a bad explanation. It's a bad um, apologetic for the Pentecostal group. So, yeah, people say, oh, you know, we have this unbroken chain going back to the apostles. Well, you know, history doesn't bear that out. And the response I often hear besides that is... Well, the Catholic Church took over all the records and they burned them all down and and there's some document buried in the Vatican vaults that explains everything and they're keeping it all a secret. And I'm just like, I'm listening to them like, you're completely batshit insane. Like, if it's hidden in a vault somewhere, how do you know about it, you know? And it, it, that's the kind of mentality, though, that they have is they'll come up with any crazy explanation to to back up their belief system and their, um, particular dogma. And it's just, it's not supported by history. So don't, don't let them kind of snow you down by all that. And keep in mind that the facts are on our side. The Pentecostal movement began in the early, early 1900s. And before that, there really was not a cohesive movement of any kind. And ever since then, it's just kind of ran and done its own thing and constantly changed. That's the other thing that's really interesting is, is how much the Pentecostal doctrine has changed and shifted just in the last century. And it's almost completely unrecognizable compared to the early days. And there's um, a lot of really neat details that maybe we'll go into in the future. But for right now, I just want to keep the video under five minutes. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.